Hey everyone, this is Trainer Jack with another fitness FAQ moment here, addressing the question of, are there foods that actually boost your metabolism? The short answer to this question is no. There are some things that you can do that will quote unquote boost your metabolism. I just read a great article recently, I think it was on ABC News, that some doctors were addressing this commonly held myth of just eating spicy foods or certain kinds of foods or like foods in high fiber boost your metabolism and they basically said like look uh, you, some extremely spicy foods will um, it would actually increase your daily metabolic burn um, and then things like drinking a huge glass of ice water on an empty stomach but it's so nominal that it's almost not even worth it so like I said the short answer is no there's not any foods out there that can really boost your metabolism if you're looking for things that will change your metabolism or increase your metabolism uh, you'd be wanting to do things like strength training because when your body has more lean mass on it and you demand more of your muscle fibers they're going to need more calories to fuel them and repair them uh, so that you can get back in shape to be stronger to be able to lift that load again um, and that's what's different in cardiovascular training is that you know when you when you give your body the expectation that oh I'm gonna have a five or six mile run today because my body is uh, has experienced that for the last three weeks. Your body will start to burn less calories at rest because it will start to expect you to do that cardio. Whereas with the demands of strength training, you do strength training, your body's like, wow, you know, Jack's lifting heavier weight lately or he's lifting a lot more weight. We gotta make sure we feed these muscles and make them stronger so that he's able to do that. And that's what actually increases your resting metabolic rate. So um, as far as foods go, no, there really isn't anything that'll increase your resting metabolism. But as far as training goes, Start doing more strength training. If you're one of those cardio fiends out there and you feel like you might get in, might be getting a little soft around the edges by doing like hard cardio for an hour six times a week, start throwing in strength training and doing that five or six times a week. You'll not only experience an increase in uh, your basal or resting metabolic rate, you also start to tone and firm up a little more because we don't want you to be skinny fat. We want you to be in shape and functionally strong and toned and sexy looking so you can go out there and impress you know, your friends, your significant other, or whoever else you might be wanting to impress out there. So uh, lift hard, uh, do a little less cardio. I, the reason that I incorporate cardio into my fitness is to, uh, it's, it's more therapy for me. Like I love taking a couple runs a week just to kind of clear my head and relax. The runner's high is really nice. But if you're looking at increasing your resting metabolism, strength training is the way to go. Don't worry about the foods. You know, forget reading the stuff from Shape or Women's Health or, you know, Men's Fitness about like, these are the top 10 foods that are going to make you burn more calories at rest because the reality is strength training is what's going to be uh, your go-to answer for that. Anyways, this has been another uh, fitness FAQ moment with me and I'll see you in the next one.